So it's... they're pretty damn good. <laughs> Say that again. Miento? Miento. That's good. I don't know how to say it, though. Sounds, sounds legit to me. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching... Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here, and you're interested in vegan food, and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, get yourself a bowl of chowda, and enjoy this episode. We have a new episode. Every Sunday. Bada boom! This is the first of a series we're gonna be doing in Taipei, Taiwan. Isn't it? It is. Lots of videos to come. Oh my god. Where are we at today? Today, for our first meal of the day of our trip, we went to a 100% vegan restaurant called Miento? I don't know how to say it. What's this place like? I mean, it's 100% vegan. It's like a Western style kind of restaurant. And I was reading reviews and people said it was on the pricier side. This place is in the back alley. There is no way in hell you could just stumble upon it. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta know where you're going. Don't you think? I'm not familiar with the city very much, so I'm not sure if you're right because there were a lot of people walking around in these alleys. And it's a very central location. Like I can tell it's a very central location because there are some main streets and there's a major department store and some metro stations near this place. So I don't think it's as hidden as maybe you think it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not very familiar with this city either, but the chances are I'm right. Let's talk about interior. It's kind of fancy looking. They have a basement. I saw stairs going down, so there's probably more seating there. And we sat in the front area of the restaurant and I saw people being escorted to the back of the restaurant. So I know there's space there as well. It was really nice. Let's talk about how much food we got. What did we get? They have a really extensive menu of appetizers, drinks, entrees, desserts, and you can get a set menu. That seems to be what a lot of people who are dining got. We ordered a set menu as well because we wanted to share with you as many options as possible on their menu. So we got the most expensive set menu. So this set menu that we ordered included a drink, we got the apple juice, a soup, we got the corn soup, an appetizer, we ordered the basil cream tartlet, an entree, we got the tomato and mushroom pasta, and a dessert. We got tiramisu for our second entree, we got the vegan beef bourguignon. Let's start with the soup, what do you think? There were two options for today's soup. One was a pea soup. As soon as I heard that, I was like, nope. <laughs> so <laughs> it had to be defaulted to the corn soup. The corn soup was in a small little bowl. So it was very small, the serving size. But it was pretty good. It was like a very sweet, kind of thick corn soup. It was a nice appetizer. What did you think? I thought the soup was pretty good. I thought it was pretty sweet, like you said. It could have been a bit creamier, and it could have been a little bit more saltier. In fact, with everything we ordered, I wish Oprah would have been in the kitchen and would have been like, you get a salt, you get a salt, you get a salt, you get a salt. Because you know she came with the cars. I disagree with that, but okay. One, two, three. I give it a three. Well, you give it a three. It's not like you're giving it a five. No, but I disagree with your overall. Oh, okay. So what'd you give it a three? I think it could have been creamier. I think it was maybe almost too sweet. And the serving size was very small. All right. For our appetizer, we got the basil cream tartlet and it was in a wonton wrapper that was deep fried and inside it was basil cream. And it came with an order of three. What did you think? I thought it was a little bland. It was all right. I didn't love it though. 
It could have been creamier again, it could have been saltier, it could have been less bland. I think this dish was a little too basic and not super inspiring. It was basically dough wonton wrappers in this situation. And I felt like it could have been just any basil pesto pasta sauce really filled in to these little wrappers and that's it. I could have made that. Mm -hmm. One, two, two three. three as well. Boom. Next, we got the tomato and mushroom pasta. What did you think of this? You know dish? what? I thought this one was delicious. It was my favorite. Creamy, very tasty, nicely cooked. The noodles weren't too hard, not too soft. Could I use a little bit more salt? Other than that, very lovely. What do you think? I really enjoyed this dish. I have a big bias towards pasta and I thought this was quite well done. Everything was flavored nicely. I don't think it needed more salt. It was a good dish. It was filling. The portion size was decent. I like this one. One, one two, two, three. Boom. Wow. Another one. Beef bourguignon. You want to know what we thought of it? But first, you guys subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. We're going to have lots of lots of episodes coming from Taipei and also Bangkok. Go ahead, we wait. When I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, whatever this vegan beef they're using, it looks a lot like real beef. And it came with a few chunks of potatoes and a side of rice. Now the portion for this is so small. And I thought this was almost too salty compared to the other items we had. But, oh, it was so nice to have a vegan version of this dish. I think it was still really good. I enjoyed it a lot. What did you think? I think it was really amazing as well. The presentation was absolutely amazing. The beef was crazy good. I've never had beef like that before. I had to ask him where to get it from. And what did you say? What company did you say it was it's from? It's from a company from Taiwan called Planet Vegan. Yeah, which is awesome. We gotta get our hands on this stuff back in Vancouver, folks. I disagree with it being too salty. I think this could have also used a little bit more salt, but I enjoyed it very much. One, One two, two, three. three. Boom. Dessert time. The best time. Tiramisu. Get it, girl. Tiramisu is usually the right choice when you have to order a dessert. And I enjoyed their version a lot. It had the lady fingers at the bottom and the cream on top with the dusting of chocolate, chocolate powder. powder. Yeah, chocolate powder, I think it was. It was delicious. I enjoyed it a lot. What did you think? You know, I loved it as well. And believe it or not, I thought the dusting was a bit too much. I kind of choked on it at first. I was like, whoa, yeah. what the? No. It was a little, little bit much. Other than that, absolutely great. One, two, three. Boom. We wow. agreed on every. Oh, we have one more thing. You do? Apple juice. This apple juice is imported. It's not your regular clear apple juice that we usually have in North America. It's like this cloudy apple juice that I was like, we get this in Europe when we go there. Now, which do I prefer? I don't know. They're both good. I don't think it makes a real difference if it's the clear or the cloudy kind. It was just apple juice. I like apple juice. What did you think? I think it was more of an apple cider, to be honest. Apple yeah. cider is carbonated. No, not necessarily. Really? Yeah, no, no, no. That's a fallacy. That's wrong. Where can I get apple cider? There. Pretty good. But I mean, I don't even know why we're grating apple. But it's good. Shall we? It's not clear apple juice, that's why. One, one, two, two three. three. <gasps> we did get the same one everything this episode. Oh my god! Yeah. Hey, Diana. Yeah. If you ever come back to Taipei, would you go back to Miento and dine again? 
It's so hard to say because this is our first meal on our first date, and there are so many other vegan restaurants in Taipei. I don't know how it's gonna compare. It's like when we went to New York, and one of our first meals was like spicy moo, and I was like, well, I don't know. But then it turned out to be one of my favorite places to eat ever. So we'll just have to see. But I do recommend it. If you're visiting Taipei, or maybe you live in Taipei and you're vegan, or you want to try something vegan, I enjoyed the food. And surprisingly, on a weekday at lunch, we went there as soon as it opened, and there were already people waiting for them to open. So it must be a popular place. It's our first meal, so we're not too sure about what. The price range is going to be for vegan meals in Taipei, but like I mentioned, reviewers did say that this place is a little bit expensive. So just to give you a reference, for the two of us with a main entree and the most expensive set menu, it came to sixty dollars Canadian, and that included a ten percent tip. So yeah, I can see sixty dollars Canadian is probably a little bit on the expensive side for this city. What do you think? Would yeah, you go back? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I would. I think it was great, and yeah, I would go back for sure. And Diana mentioned Spicy Moon. I'm gonna put a link to the episode in the comments. Go check it out. See what you think. We liked it. Take a look at this other video we did. You might like it. You may not. We may have liked it. We may have not. You're gonna have to watch. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.